to make chains, first we have to make a slip knot. Tighten the knot, but not too much, leave it a little bit loose. Now, there are several ways to hold and fit the yarn when you crochet. I like to wrap the yarn around my finger, like this, and release it as needed. Now let's make chains. Hold the tail of the yarn like this, and put the yarn over the hook like this. This is what we call to yarn over. Now pull this loop through the slip knot. This is your first chain. Hold the chain with your fingers. Yarn over and pull the loop through this chain. Hold the chain. Yarn over. Pull the loop through the chain. Hold yarn over pull the loop through the chain yarn over pull the loop through the chain yarn over pull the loop through the chain yarn over and pull the loop through the chain after making chains, it is good to always count them to make sure we made as much as we need for the project. This V is the first chain. This is just the knot from the slip knot. This is the first chain. This is the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth the seventh. This loop on the hook does not count as a chain. So we made seven chains. Now that you know how to make chains, you are ready to go to the next step, single crochet. Mm -hmm.